Okay, we are back again uh, to do another Savage Barrel swap. Uh, we're working with the uh, same as the last one, Stevens Model 200. Uh, currently has a 243 barrel that we put on uh, in the last video. And we're going to take it off and put back on the 25-06 video, or the 25-06 barrel, sorry. Uh, this time though, we're going to do a little different. We're going to use a port entry action wrench and the barrel nut wrench instead of using uh, the full action wrench. This one is the Wheeler uh, action wrench. If it's the Remington 700 or the Savage. Uh, and we're not going to have to use the vise or oak blocks or a barrel vise for any of this. This you can do on the tailgate of the truck, the bench, uh, now shooting range, whatever. It takes just a couple minutes and it's, uh, it's a lot faster. So, we'll get started here. Um, obviously, make sure your gun's unloaded. Um, you can pull the bolt. Um, I'm just going to leave it in because it's just going to take a minute. So, we're going to slide on our barrel nut wrench. Try not to scratch the barrel up too much again. Get that on there. And there you go. Now, we're going to take our action wrench. And I'm just going to slide it in. It'll slip into the locking lug recess there. And all it's going to take, these nuts aren't very tight when I put them on there. They don't need to be gorilla tight. Just tight enough so the barrel won't slip. And uh, basically, you just pop loose. Now, this one was a little loose because we didn't tighten it up that much last time. But uh, it just pops loose. You don't need any extra leverage or anything like that. Loosen up, pull your action wrench out, and slide the nut wrench off of there, and then we're just going to spin the barrel off. And when you're doing this, you don't even have to take off uh, the front scope base. Uh, you have to pull your scope off. You could do it without. Guys have notched the barrel nut wrench so they can work around the scope. Um, I prefer to just set mine up. I have uh, all my savages set up on weaver bases or weaver style, not necessarily weavers, with worn quick release rings. All I have to do is throw two levers, the scope comes right off and uh, returns to zero. Usually, I've had pretty good luck. They return within an inch every time. So what we did, we just spun the barrel off, took off the nut, took off the recoil lug, and we're going to set our 243 barrel aside. And here's our 25 out 6 barrel that we're going to put back on there. So we'll spin the nut on. And recoil lug on, otherwise you'll forget it, and you'll have to tear the whole thing apart and start over. And now, we're going to spin the barrel onto the receiver. Lined up there. And get it close, and we'll line up recoil lug. Put the nut down. This is just to hold everything in place. Now, we're going to take our headspace gauge. We have 30 out 6 case length go gauge. And we're going to slide it in there. Same as last time. Uh, I don't remove the extractor or the ejector because I'm kind of lazy. Um, hook it under the extractor and push down the ejector so you get a good real reading out of it and then slide it into the chamber and I shut the bolt should close no resistance and then screw the barrel down until it just stops you feel just a bit of resistance against the gauge tighten the nut hand tight and then check 
make sure the bolt function's smooth. It's a little bit tight, so loosen the nut just a bit. And then uh, try it again, tighten it. Not quite so tight this time. And tighten the nut. And uh, I think that should be good. Get a wrench, slide it on there, give it one little tug there, tighten it up, and gonna pull out the headspace gauge. Put our action wrench back in there. Just like this. Give it one good little pop, and everything should be tight enough where it's not going to come loose while you're shooting. Take our headspace gauge, check it one more time. Perfect. It's nice and smooth, but it's still tight. You can double check with either a no-go or put two pieces of cellophane tape on the bottom of your go gauge um, just to make sure if it closes with the two pieces of tape on there uh, you'll have to reset it you've got too much headspace um, but we're going to call this good i'll double check it later but that's all there is to it you can do that out in the field it takes just a couple minutes and uh, there you go instead of bringing six guns you can bring one gun and six barrels. It's like a contender, only uh, better calibers. There you go. That's all there is to it. And uh, that's the other way. Do a, do a barrel swap using a port entry action wrench and the barrel nut wrench. Pretty easy. Thanks.